Yeah! Woo! Whoa! You guys fired up? Man, my name is Steve Holbrook. I'm so blessed to be here right now. I'm here with my beautiful wife, Melissa. I love you so much. We've been in business for 14 years. We have three beautiful kids at home, a six-year-old son, a five-year-old, and a three-year-old daughter. Man, I miss them as I think about them. But I'm a proud product of Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Is there any Canadians in the house? <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> when Susan Davies called me a couple months ago, she said, Steve, we'd like you to talk about having a plan, have, setting a goal and making a plan. So that night, on a white sheet of paper, I wrote down my goal and I wrote down my plan. But the more I got thinking about my goal and my plan, the more I couldn't stop thinking about my dream. You don't need a goal and you don't need a plan if you don't have a dream. 14 years ago, I had a dream that I wanted to belong to something. I wanted to feel like I was a part of something special. And I wanted a place where I could feel significant and in turn I could make other people feel significant. And I was looking for a place where I could come and I could get control of my life. And I could live life on my terms. And then one day, God willing, have a family and leave a legacy for my kids. And not just a legacy of wealth, but a legacy of example and goal setting and living a life on purpose. And that was my dream. And in 2005, I walked into a meeting and I knew that I found the platform that was going to get me that dream. And just like God sent me to that meeting that day, I believe that there's a reason that you're in this arena here today. I had a dream, I found the platform, and now I needed a goal. Just like everyone in here needs a goal. That's the next target, the next domino, the next thing you're obsessed about, you can't sleep about. One thing you're dog on a bone about. For me it was simple, it was 100K or 250 or 500 or SMD, EMD, CEO. See, I never believed that I could be a CEO when I started. But I knew that if I could muster up enough belief and enough momentum and I had a plan that I could get to SMD. And once I got to SMD, the next domino was EMD. And once I got there, the next one was CEO. Here's the key. You need a specific target and you got to go all in on it. You don't need another part-time job. You got to go all in on the goal that you set. The goal was always my obsession. But now we needed a plan. Dream, goal, plan. Your written plan is your strategy for success. Your written plan is the only way you're going to win the war. Wars aren't won on dreams. Wars are won on strategies. And you need a blueprint. I needed a blueprint. Because when I started, I was so scared I was going to fail. I was so scared I was too broke too young, no education on money, all my friends were 20 years old, I needed a plan because I needed every inch and I didn't want to leave anything to chance. I needed a plan and a strategy to create some certainty for me in this business because this was a very uncertain environment for me, entrepreneurship. Do you think at 23 years old when I started, I was working in a restaurant making $11 an hour? Do you think that I had the mindset and the tools to run a financial services company? Do you think I knew how to lead a team of hundreds of licensed agents or speak on stage in front of 25,000 people? I've been where you've been. I've sat where you sat and I've been scared like you're scared. Do you think my fifth year in the business I was ready to have my rectum taken out, my colon taken out, eight feet of bowel taken out, lying in that hospital bed almost the whole year, scared I was going to die, with no confidence left. I was rock bottom. You think I was ready? You'll never be ready. And that's why you need a plan. That's why you need a plan. Because you'll never be ready. No one's ever ready. I wasn't equipped. I wasn't equipped. But I do what I always do when I face a challenge. I immediately start preparing the comeback. 
because my career, just like my life, has been a series of comebacks along the way. Because my dreams, my dreams have always been worth it. I've always had the intention to persevere. I've always had the intention to fight and climb and claw in every area of my life, whether it's my health or my fitness or my business. Do you want to know the secret? Do you want to know why winners win? Winners win because they're more intentional with everything they do. Everything they do. They do everything with purpose. For me to go from rock bottom to EVC, I was intentional with everything I could control. From the time I got up, to the time I got to the office, to how I worked out, to when I worked out, to the calls I made, to the books I read, to the podcasts I listened to, to the mentors that I kept, to how I use social media. Everything on purpose until success became my new standard. And as my great friend Ed Milet says, your behaviors and your habits are a reflection of the standard that you have set for your life. And it's so true with my wife. I knew the life that I wanted to live. I knew the dream I had, but I needed to find the needle in a haystack of a woman that was harder working than me, that was a better communicator than me. The kind of woman that when I watched her be a mom would want me to be a better dad. And because I set the expectation for my life so high, just at the right moment, she walked in. See, most of us need to set higher standards. And here's the truth. You don't have to be lying in a hospital bed to be rock bottom. Some of you might be rock bottom right now in an area of your life. And it might be your business, but it might be your health. All the money in the world, all the time in the world, no health. Or maybe it's your marriage. Five years ago, your marriage wasn't what it is today. Or maybe it's the relationship with your kids. If you were accused in the court of law of being a loving and present parent, would there be enough evidence to convict you? Or maybe it's your finances. And maybe you got here on your last dollar. And we're so proud of you for making it. But to be in your 20s or 30s or 40s or 50s and flat broke? What a scary place to be. But you know what? You know what all these leaders in both arenas have in common? We have two things in common. We've all been to rock bottom and we've all persevered, which means you can too. <clears throat> Sometimes you can't control getting stuck, but with this great company, you can control staying stuck. And all you need is a dream. And all you need is a goal. And all you need is a carefully executed plan with intention, and I'm telling you, anything is possible here. In closing, a couple months ago, I was introduced at a local event by a lady. She said, hey, this is Steve. He sold WFG. And I thanked her for it, and it was a compliment, and it was. But I kindly told her, I said, look, I'm not so WFG. I'm just so Steve Holbrook. I was just that 23-year-old kid that had a dream. He wanted to live a life on purpose, full of intention. And WFG is my shot to live that dream and to have that life. This is the greatest opportunity of my lifetime. And I'm so grateful to be standing here today. But if I don't leverage this moment right now, I will end up a fraction of the man that I could have become. And that thought, that very thought, is what keeps me up at night. It's what I lose sleep over. See, this convention could be the start of a winning streak in your life. But don't wait for things to get worse before you start living with more intention. See, I believe in this company. And I believe in this cause. And I believe in all of you. All of you. Because I know in my heart that if I can do this, you can too. My final thought. My final thought. I said it before, but it needs to be said again. This great company, this great company did not come here to just take part. We came here to take over. And that's exactly, that's exactly what we intend to do. God bless you. We'll see you at the top.